Today we will talk about the duration and conversity. We know that duration is actually telling us what is the percentage change of the bond price, provided a percentage change of the yield. So from this curve, which is uh, we are very familiar with, with the yield as the x axis and the price as the y axis. Usually we will see a curve like this for a bond. And for a certain yield, if the yield decreases a little bit, the price will increase. While if the yield increases, then the price will decrease. We can model this by using duration. And duration, so from this equation, it means that the percentage change of the bond price will be equal to the duration times the percentage change of the yield. But since they are moving in the opposite direction, which means that when the yield decrease, the bond price will increase. So, and we will usually make duration to be positive number. So we will add a negative number here to indicate that they move in the opposite direction. But however, this is a linear equation, meaning that when the yield have a very large change, for example, from here to here, you will no longer be able to model this change of the price because this is the curve. If we try to magnify this part, you will see that this is there's a big curvature for any bond. And for a particular U, if there is a big change in the U, let's say this amount of change, you will find that by using duration alone, it will only account a small portion of the change of the price. While there is another portion which is not accounted by the duration. As a result, we have to introduce the concept of conversity. Conversity just telling us how curve is this curve. So by adding conversity to it, have this equation, conversity times percentage change of the U squared. So here you will see that if the U reduce, we will increase the bond price. But with the conversity, it will increase even further. And when the U increase, the bond price will be reduced. But because we have a positive term of the conversity, the price will reduce less. Here is the straight line predicting by the duration alone. It will predict that there will be a very big change of the bond price. But with the conversity, it will accurately predict that the decrease in the bond price is less. So in summary, in order to calculate the percentage change of the bond price, we have to use both the duration and conversity. That's it.